Hi, this is Mick West from Metabunk.org. Here we've got two photos of Toronto taken from different altitudes from approximately uh, the same location in, in Hamilton, Ontario. Uh, this lower one here is taken from down near sea level and you can see that uh, you can only see the tops of the buildings. The upper one here is taken from a much higher altitude up on uh, Mountain Park uh, View which is uh, about 400 feet above the lake. Now, I've taken both these photos and I've put them into Google Earth um, and I've overlaid them from approximately their correct location. Now, this is the lake here. The lake is a, about 200 and something feet above sea level and Google Earth doesn't render the surfaces of lakes very well. So you have to add a flat path like this onto the lake so you can see the surface of the lake and that will actually appear to be above where Google Earth is rendering it. Uh, let's look at the first view, first photo from the Mountain Park view. And here it is, I've aligned it with the horizon and I've turned on 3D buildings and the 3D buildings will pop into view in a minute. And you can see that it lines up with what we can see uh, in the 3D 3D view is the same as in the photo view. Now you see the red lines here uh, are the actual surface of the lake, which from this viewpoint is very similar to what Google Earth renders, but you can see it's actually slightly above. So uh, what you see in this photo matches very well what we would expect to see uh, from the curvature of the Earth, only obscuring a very, very small portion of the bottom of the, the building. We can look a little closer here if we click on Get Info on that uh, we can see the actual settings that I've used and I can change the transparency so you can see what is obscured this area down here very small area at the bottom is going to be obscured uh, let's have a look at the other photo down from uh, Van Wagner's beach and because we are much closer to uh, uh, actual sea level the uh, the curvature of the earth is obscuring a lot of the buildings. Let's look, have a closer look at that. And I'm going to change the transparency again. And you can see there's all this area of Toronto is missing from this photo because it's obscured by the curvature of the earth. And this, this red, these red lines here are the actual surface of the lake. Uh, and I think I have a slightly off there, but you can see the basic idea is that the uh, the lake itself is obscuring all this lower portion of uh, Toronto and uh, hence demonstrating the curvature of the earth. Okay, that concludes that, but I'm going to show you real quick how I actually do this. Uh, let me cancel that out here. What, uh, what we do with the photo here, you take the link to a photo and you can just use a link to one of the photos posted in Metabunk uh, and then you've got to find where the viewpoint is. So let's say we're taking the one down by the beach. So I'm just going to pick a different spot here, just slightly further along the beach. I click all the way down. Actually, first of all, I need to get the uh, viewpoint, the actual link uh, on Wagner's beach view. Get info. All right, so this here is the original link to the picture. So I'm going to use this as a photo overlay. Now, what I've done to make things a bit easier for myself is I've added this uh, purple polygon here, which indicates where uh, the tower is. The way, the way that's done is uh, you, oops, you add a polygon and you just do click, 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 make a four-sided polygon. Then you change the altitude to be relative to the ground and 10,000 meters and click on extend sides to ground and you can change the color if you like and then when you look at it from a long way away you can see exactly where something is and I've done this one over the CN Tower in Toronto which is a most noticeable landmark so let me just get rid of that and go back to the beach over here So I go down to the beach, go down into ground level view. Just keep clicking until you get down to the ground and line myself up 
with Toronto over there and then I click on add a photo and it's just up in the menu add photo and I do the link and just a demo give it a name uh, Wagner's Beach now if I click on the uh, photo uh, button here you see you get all these numbers here and what you can do is change the transparency so it's transparent and then you adjust these until you can you make the uh, field of view as narrow as possible and you can see that the uh, Toronto 3D model over here is getting bigger and bigger so you just adjust this until it's about the same size then you will adjust things like the tilt well oops uh, actually what you need to do uh, first is just exit the ground level view and then go back into that photo otherwise it gets a little confused all right so we change the transparency again we change the field of view until things are about the same size we change the tilt to line things up um, and then we change the heading so it's perfectly lined up and then you just need to do fine adjustments until this is uh, correct uh, and then click on OK and then you will have the overlay you see I didn't finish doing it here but of course I've already is one I prepared earlier all right hope that's useful